Well, this is interesting. Your wordplay brings to mind the next thing I was going to talk to you about, which is that I feel, I mentioned this to you off the air, that basically you're a predecessor of Woody Allen in terms of doing urban neurotic Jewish humor, but also you did a bit that was very Kafka-esque, which would be very fitting with what Woody did after you, where you're in a room, you can't find the door, the window, you don't know how the hell you got in the room. It's a brilliant routine, I think, but very, very weird and kind of esoteric for its time. That's the... Uh, yes. That's the hotel room, yeah, yes. Yes. Where, where he calls down. So the, the room's nice. It's just I, I can't find my window. <laughs> so near, near which door? I can't find the door. Well, now, yes, it's it's that's a very interesting. I'm glad you mentioned that it's Kafka esque because I have another routine which is called Kafka on the telephone, yes, yes. in which uh, the dime gets deposited, and there's no way he can because he, it's his last dime. Right. And, and he's in, in very serious trouble. It's a very important call. Yeah, I guess uh, Kafka. Now, if I if I talk about Kafka, then of course that makes me Jewish. Uh, <laughs> because they, I, 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 I didn't know that. That's correct. Because <laughs> Kafka, being Jewish, <laughs> and somehow being a bug himself, you know. Uh, but for me, for me, our inability to solve the most simple, simple problem because the problem ha is, is, is multi-sided and has a roof on it. Uh, yes, that is Kafka and we have these problems. Uh, I think trying to deal with a department store that won't give you any help, won't help you get a lady off the damn window <laughs> is, is, is a Kafka problem. And maybe that's where I am. Maybe I'm more with that impossibility, with the fact that you won't know the crime you're committing until that, that particular death machine carves it into your skin, into your flesh, uh, which is the most terrifying of all short stories. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we still are uh, prisoners of uh, the inability of most people to understand what your problem is. Mm. Go ahead, make a phone call, try to deal, try to deal with, with voicemail. Mm. Try. See, this is a new era now. You have a whole new era of it, phone it, stuff you could be doing. It's I know, and I, I, I'm, I'm working on that, but, but just think of the menu. <laughs> Does the menu ever contain a, a clue as to the problem you are calling about? So they'll pass through the menu and you're praying to God that they will have one more item that will include you. And then you take a guess and you find out, my God, I've really gotten into the wrong menu altogether. And they, but they, of course, give you another menu. Uh, you're dead. You're finished. Life is... So life has gotten worse since your initial albums have come out, I guess oh, you're yes. saying. Life is terrible now. And I, I think, I, I really believe, thank God... I'm able to find the humor in it ultimately. But when I'm in it, I don't see the humor. No. When I'm in it, they're carving my soul. Whoa.